TVHams.com, the official website of General Gruchowski Show. You can also go to YouTube and Facebook, find out more information. Right now, we got Stormy Monday and Partey in the house. Stormy Monday? How you doing? Welcome to the broadcast with Partey. What'd you bring in here, huh? I appreciate that. Partey, what, yep. th- what, day, is it? what day is it? It is... Uh, it's always Monday. Yeah, wait, wait, that's wait. right. Yeah, my, my brain got a little skewed up there. It's always Monday when... When I walk in, it's always Monday. But it's not just a Monday. It's a stormy Monday. That's right. Tell Stor- us about how Stormy you- Lee Monday. Ooh. I like stormy Monday. <laughs> well, I do, too. Lou makes you more... Well, of course, Lee would make you Southern, right? Well, it would just mean it's a name, like not so much just like everybody says, hey, man, that's a song. It's also a name. Was it a song, too? I heard <laughs> yeah, Manic you, Monday. You've never heard Stormy Monday? Just another Manic Monday. The Almond Monday. Brothers. Monday. Phil uh-huh. Moore East. Man, Wish oh, it man. was Sunday. <laughs> manic Monday. Because that's my fun day. Part you don't know that song? No. You don't know the Bengals? <laughs> no, shame on me. Huh? Uh, yeah. No, he's more they into Cypress Hill. Walk like an Egyptian. Okay. That's that was uh Manic that was the Bengals. Bengals was, was, mm-hmm. was slow in the eighties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little slow in the bank. Now, your song things. was even older. If he, if he doesn't remember the 80s, he darn well don't remember the, the 70s. The song was probably written in the 40s oh. by a black cool. lady. I I'm think. in the 70s. I was born in the 70s. What was Where the name of the song? What was no. the song you want to sing? I don't Stormy wanna, Monday. I don't want to sing. But who, who was it? Stormy Monday is, uh, well, it's been redone by many people. But, but who was the original? Uh, I don't know who that was. You said Almond Brothers? Almond Brothers did well, it on Fillmore East. If Live he doesn't at the know it, the 80s music, he definitely don't know the 70s music. Right. Except for one thing. What? When I was born. I know that much. What did you know? What was, <laughs> it, what was playing in the operating room? Uh, I think it happened when it was, uh, it like, was some song called... Help me, Jesus! <laughs> Lord, <laughs> have mercy. <laughs> Help me right now! Pull it out! Pull it out! Get him oh. out there, boy! Is that what you heard? Pull him out! Yeah. Rawhide! Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it. you got slapped? <laughs> yes. That's the first. Part D, poor kid gets slapped. The very first thing is a moment of life, he gets slapped. I think we all do, don't we? I don't know. <laughs> it's a way of life, Larry. Yeah. You, get, you, you come get, out, bam! As soon as you get in here, yeah, you're getting your ass whooped. From <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, so Stormy Monday. How do we get the name Stormy Monday? Well, I was born on Monday, and Stormy works. <laughs> really? <gasps> yeah. So, so, uh, so if I was uh, a sunny Tuesday, then you would probably be my cousin. And Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> w W Tamps too. Right. W D forty. There you go. Yeah. We have to get his name somehow. Yeah. I think and we it, just figured out. It was a Halen Thursday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I actually have a son named Stormy Monday the second, but I yeah. call him Storm. Yes. Not Stormy, just Storm. Just storm. He goes okay. by Storm. Yeah. Because you could be Stormy, you just be, and you'd be Storm, Storm Monday. Yeah, but I'm stormy. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I've, I've heard him when he gets up in the morning. I, I call him at once. Uh, all grumpy as hell. I'm waking him up. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, okay, so it was, it was literally a stormy Monday, and Mom just said, I, I give up an idea. We'll just call him that. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there that's, you that's original. Mm-hmm. You were born in Tennessee, and you were the oldest of seven children. Six. Six? There, I have five younger sisters, and I lived in Tennessee till I was 16, then I moved up north. Which and, is to where? Uh, Peoria, Illinois. Okay. Which I, I still live there, but I've traveled around the country doing art shows because, you know, being an artist and all that. Right. Them. And that's one thing we'll, we'll talk about in a second. But you're also, uh, you've also been an actor. You were a hippie. And uh, you're an author. Yes. Yes. Not in that order, right? I guess you were a hippie first, <laughs> I, right? I, you know what? I was a 60s hippie. That yeah. is true. Yeah. Did you like that? I loved it. Yeah, what was so special about the 60s that me and Partee will never be able to experience? What you, what you would have to understand is most of the people that were teenagers in the 60s don't remember much of it because it was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Right. And it really was. Plus, the, the world was a bad place back then. If yeah, Vietnam. If it's, if it's not a bad place now, I mean, there was a lot, there was a lot going on, we'll say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? But the hippies uh, just got high and said, to hell with it. You was know. the sex good? Very good. Yeah. Very yes. good. Yeah. Yes. Was the sex better than the drugs? What was better in the 60s? I think I think uh, it all went well together. Yeah, it, it was a good cocktail. Yeah, it was a mix. Like, you yeah. just put it all in a bowl and did it all. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I, I don't know. The rock and roll, I don't like the 60s. I, I, I was not a big fan of the 60s rock and roll. The Doors? The no, Rolling no, Stones? No, the Rolling Stones. I like the Rolling Stones in the 70s. Yeah, I did too. I like the Beatles, but they were they were kind of like done by the time the hippies came right. around, right? They were, yeah. you know, Helter Skelter and right. Rolling yeah, well. there were some good bands back then, man. But I, I didn't get into much of the 60s music too much. It kind of got, um, to me, it was kind of more um, mom and dad's music. 
<laughs> well, you know, I'm a lead head. I love Led Zeppelin. Okay, well, that's different. That's more 70s, yeah. isn't it? Uh, they were playing in the 60s in yeah. London, and yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. But like Jimi Hendrix, he doesn't, even though he's the epitome of 60s, because at uh, Woodstock, right? Yeah. He, he comes across as more of a 70s artist to me. He kind of does. He's got more of that 70s sound. Yeah. Well, you know? he's timeless. Yeah. I mean, his music today is amazing, you know. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, so you uh, you had a good sex and you had a lot of drugs in the 60s. Right. Okay, right. that's good. I mean, that's a good thing. Tell us about your, or your, your um, you're an author. Okay. Uh, I've got a couple books out. These are the books. Okay. And one of them is Soul Seeds. One of them is The Secret Path. Okay. And you can find them anywhere. Okay. In fact, we'll put a, we'll put a link. Have oh, thank that. you. Thank you, you have that. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Oh, that thank amazing. You. Yeah, that amazing? I got the secret path part, <laughs> Yeah. Mine is, the story of mine is a good guy. There you go. But, um, so what are these, what are so these books about? So here's the thing. Here's the thing, Larry. Uh, when I was young, I used to, uh, you know, I've got a, my imagination is off the charts. You know, I'm left of center. So I was always writing short stories and, uh, and drawing, you know, the little images around the stories. I mean, I've done that since childhood. So uh, writing English always has been a strength of mine. I enjoy writing. Okay. I write for Biker Spot Magazine. Uh, I have a monthly story in there uh, every month for the last three and a half years, and that'll continue to be. Um, I love writing. You know, I'm working on four different books right now. Okay. You know, I've got a coffee table edition for my art that I'm putting together, uh, an erotic fiction book. Okay. Um, I have a book called, uh, uh, um, I keep changing the name, Standing in the Storm, Stories from the Street. Okay. I'm working intensely on that book right now. And then I have another book called The Pond that I've been writing for quite some time. And I don't know if I'll ever finish the book, but I, you know, it's a project that I definitely love working on, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I do murals, you know. I do a lot of stuff creative, you yeah. know. And uh, going back to writing, you were tagged the, the poet prophet. Yeah. I used to do a lot of coffee houses okay. all up and down the West Coast and Texas and, you know, Arizona, right. New Mexico. And that was before that, that became popular, right? When you were yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was, you know, yeah, we, you know, we didn't, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was very popular to a certain crowd of people. Right. You know. Millennials are getting into that now. Doing right, poetry. right. It's blown. It's blown up now into a bigger, pl you know, bigger yeah. thing. But back then, I guess we kind of started. I guess you know. Yeah. And who, uh, who were your inspiration writing? Who, who, uh, writing any authors you, you used to read growing up? You know, you here's. Like? I used to read the. Uh, the, uh, what are they called? Uh, I can't remember the. Playhouse Fiction. or Playboy Forums? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, those were under the bed. Uh, yeah, those were under the bed. No, um, I, yeah. for me, to be honest with you, I'm not so much a reader. I would rather create. Okay. I'm a creator. You know, I, I, I like to create the story, I, the reading the part. You know, I'm, I don't want to get ideas from a, another writer. I, gotcha. I would rather, you know, create my own ideas, so. Okay. And uh, you've created some uh, paintings. You actually, you got created a, a lot of paintings. I have several hundred paintings. Uh, I've done shows all over the Southwest, the West Coast, all over the uh, Tennessee, all all along the south, Southern Coast and the West Coast. And um, what I do is I'll move into an area and then just do gallery shows all around in all the states around that state okay. where I live, like Arizona. You know, just find all the contemporary galleries throughout and while I'm living there and work that area, kind of work the area, mm -hmm. and then move to California. And I've done this through the years, you know, and then work all the galleries that are contemporary through that area. Right, okay. And then Tennessee, and then work the galleries. And then I have not shown in Chicago, okay. and I am looking for a contemporary gallery right now. Cool. I'm, I'm into that. And you brought a sample of your work here today. Yeah, I brought a few okay. pieces. We have some, some samples right here. This is uh, called Funny Farm. Uh, that's a uh, abstract. It's uh, I did that with acrylic, and uh, I love the piece. I love doing those. Those are so easy for me. Just just fun to do them. Yeah, such rich color, and okay. a little abstract. And uh, I, that one guy looks like me a little bit, doesn't he? I think he does. Yeah. I, you know, if I had known you then, it would be you. Oh, but it's not me though. 
No, this but, but since I know you now, it could be. Yeah, it could have been a vision of someone I'm going to meet <laughs> <laughs> in the future. I'll just draw that guy right now. Yeah, okay. yeah. I put you in there and didn't know I was putting you in yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. It was, it was meant to be. This is called Blue Inside. There, okay. There's no blue in the painting unless you walk up on the painting and you'll see a heart and there's blue. I can show you. Blue inside the hole in the heart. Oh, it's a card. It's a card. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blue nice. inside. I actually did that after a divorce, and I was heartbroken, so blue inside. There you go. And it's a 3D picture. Yes. It comes out at you. Yes, it does. But no sharp edges. No. Okay. Okay, we, what's this other one we got coming up here? That's Lover's Cove. It's acrylic. Um, fun to do. Enjoyed it. I painted that uh, in an afternoon. So you was there? I was there, yeah, in my head. I Most of those... Uh, all of those paintings, I may, I create the place in my head. Because oh, so you've never been to this lakefront. The, the, they don't. They only exist in my mind. You know, they're fantasy, uh, fantasy spots. Okay. Places I'd love to be, so I just put them on canvas. I'd love to be on an inner tube in that spot, huh? To partake? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Me Definitely. too. Me too. This is uh, a time long ago. I did the galaxy that. far, far away. <laughs> I did. Th I did this because everybody in life has a, that old swing on an old tree limb. Uh, it makes you flash back to your childhood and yes. think about, wow, you know, I remember those times when there it was go. carefree, and so. And this next one is heart implosion. I painted this one right after another divorce. <laughs> what? <laughs> an an wow. <laughs> yeah, another one. And uh, my heart was exploding inward, so uh, that is heart implosion. It's a three-dimensional multimedia piece. You mean that's not asteroids? Uh, well, it could be. If you see it as asteroids, those are asteroids. Or, or hemorrhoids. One of, the, one of the two, I guess. Hemorrhoids or asteroids? Yeah, that's, it could be hemorrhoids. If it's, a, if it's a breakup, it could be hemorrhoids. Yeah, it could be, uh, actually, before the breakup, it could be hemorrhoids. Yeah. It's going to be a dead man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I should say, let me, let me mention this important fact. This particular painting is featured in a movie that is in the works right now. It is in the trailer uh, in, in the movie, uh, Blood Money, the movie. And uh, several of the other pieces of my pieces are also in that uh, trailer. In the Court of the Crimson Queen. Yes, that looks like a Crimson Queen, if I've yes, ever seen one before. Yes, it does. Yes. yes, yes, it does. Blue eyes. Yeah, Four blue. shots of Patron, there's a queen. There you go. All right. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> nice. I love it. If and you, this. If you like it, party, I love it. See, Larry, you were always on point. Yes, and right. this is the grand finale, my last one that I brought. This is called Weeping Willow, and it is my most popular piece. It is done in uh, high gloss, industrial enamel, high gloss oil, and I'll be uh, I'll be honest with you, it took me hmm, one minute to paint this, and it is my most popular painting. And every gallery show I do, everybody loves this painting. I've sold several hundred prints of this piece, and I'm sure I'll sell several hundred more. This is the original right okay. here. And uh, I would sell this piece for $7,000, but uh, that would be giving it away because it's going to be worth far, far more than that someday. There you go. And you also print uh, uh, murals. Yes, I do. I have murals all over the all over the country. Obviously, everywhere. there's a there's a difference between painting murals and painting pictures. There is. What, what is the biggest thing besides... The, uh, the, you know, perspective, yeah. you know, uh, being in front of a wall and you have to imagine everything bigger and put your mind frame into that. And keep yeah. stepping back, right? Oh, yeah, you, you have know? to keep, and then step back up. And absolutely. I enjoy doing them, though. I, I really love doing abstract murals. Yes. You know. You get to, especially with the colors and stuff like that. Right. Really nice. And you can tell us something about art.com. You were involved in a contest there? I have a painting called Mardi Gras, and you can see it on my uh, Facebook or stormymondayart.com. And Mardi Gras was a top five winner from entries of art around the world. Thousands of artists entered this art contest. It was called the world's greatest artist, the, the world's next greatest artist. That's what it was. Okay. And uh, it 
Mardi Gras won a top five spot. Oh, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks yeah. for stopping by. Uh, again, Stormy Monday Art is your website. You can find out about you and also on Facebook, right? Also, um, uh, Stormy Lee Monday on Facebook, and I have galleries of many of uh, hundreds of pieces of my art there that you can get into, check out if you want. Okay, and you're going to teach Parte how to do some figure painting later, I right? am. Yeah. We're going to yes. get a big old bucket of paint and throw it all over each other. All right, yeah. very good. So don't eat the paint this time, Parte. Hey, hey a, a south sad honor. All I'm, right, because sure. <laughs> last time he thought it was spaghetti sauce. Ah. Yeah. I, I can looking, see he's that. Out, he's like, where's the noodles? I, I can see that. I'm like, this doesn't taste that good. You know, he needs to spice it up, I guess, like that. Yeah. And for something that will spice you up, tvhams.com, the official website of the Gentleman Grachowski Show. tvhams.com, Facebook, and everything else. Dot com. It's a Gentleman Grachowski Show. Everybody, don't you know? It's a Gentleman Grachowski Show. Everybody, don't you know? It's the Gentleman Grachowski Show. <laughs> Everybody, don't you know? It's the Gentleman Grachowski Show. <laughs> 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 <laughs>